Hello, everyone. I am so excited because today I am here at Podcast Summit. Shout out to David Chan for an amazing event. Y'all know we talk a lot about mentorship, community, and collaboration. And so I am going to always practice what I preach and feel up to that meeting in the world. Learning how to provide amazing content for you all. There are so many dope entrepreneurs, so y'all know. I'm going to find some amazing real estate investors so we can continue to learn about their stories and strategies so we can also grow and scale our real estate portfolio. I also want to make sure that while I'm here, I'm giving some tips about how you can best navigate conferences. I love a good conference. There's something about the energy. You get to hear people that are doing amazing things. You're inspired by other people who are going to try to get it. And some of them do just need that little energy bump. And so I'll be honest. I was having a little bit of a swerve, trying to figure things out. There have been some significant shifts in my business. And so I'm super excited just to get in the room today. So my first tip for you is to just get in the room. Find a conference, find an event that is very similar to what it is that you are working on, to the people that are doing similar things to what you want to do, because the energy is contagious. And so you want to be where where you're going to be feel We pour a lot with the people in our businesses or our life. And so we need to find places and opportunities where we can refill our cup. Conferences are the maybe where to do that. And then you'll get some jewels and nuggets along the way. And listen, sometimes it's just that one thing that can move the needle for you. Y'all stay tuned. There's going to be some amazing content from the sermon. I can't wait to show y'all all the people that I'm getting to meet, all the things that I'm learning. And of course, y'all going to see the fruit of this as the podcast continues to grow. Welcome to the Aid to Assets podcast, the ultimate podcast for aspiring real estate investors. I'm your host, Tiffany Watson. Join me as we discuss real estate investing for nine to five. Like your work ethic should never change based on the result. You cannot put a price tag on your safety. When you can understand the foundation and how we got here, it will give you direction on how it could potentially go. If you want to get some real estate, the best way to get it is to start investing in real estate. And that's what I'm saying. Tax liens and tax deeds is the best way. So we are meant to be in movement and in constant motion and constant discovery of ourselves. And that's why we get to explore so many different things of ourselves. This is your aid to asset. Conference season is launching. And do you know what it is that you need to get out of this conference? You spent all this money on this ticket. Don't let it be out of town. We're talking travel, lodging, accommodations, meals. You want to make sure that you are getting the most for your money. Today, I am super excited to be able to share with you three tips to make sure that you have a successful conference theory. So the first thing is you want to make sure before you even get who the conference preparation starts before you get there, do you know why you're going? What is it that you are looking to get out of this conference? And so there can be a variety of reasons, whether you need inspiration, whether you need connections, whether you need information. And so make sure that you are crystal clear. I recommend you write down three to five things that you are looking to get out of this conference because no one can make sure that you get what you need like you. And so first, you have to know what that is. For example, me coming to Podcast Summit, I was coming to get some inspiration. Y'all, can you believe we are almost a year in of the A to Assets podcast? Every single week since last September, I have been inviting you to join in on conversations with some of my real estate friends. And while it has been a mixing experience, I want to make sure that I'm actually providing valuable content, that you are actually getting information that you are executing on, and that this is a good time that you're spending with me. So I wanted to be re-inspired to make sure that the work that I'm doing matters to my audience because there's a lot of love. This is definitely a labor of love. And so it is important to me that this is an amazing experience. So for me, the first thing that I knew that I was coming to five before was to get inspiration. The second thing, though, was information. I need a strategy. My business has now shifted. And so instead of just focusing on real estate investors, I'm also a full-time real estate agent. This is a great marketing opportunity for me. How can I make sure that I am providing valuable content that I can share to get potential leads, to let people know that I do this in real life. I'm in these real estate streets and want to make sure that I am able to position myself as a credible person. So first things first. When you are going to a conference, do you have a reason for going? What is your goal for being there? Know that. Secondly, what is it that you are going to do when you leave? Once again, we ain't even talking about a conference yet. 
what is it that you are going to do when you leave? So for example, I know for me that I need to make a decision. What is my podcast going to look like moving forward? Like I said, we're closing in on a year. And while this is an amazing opportunity and I have loved being able to provide this counsel for you, I want to make sure that I have an actual strategy and I'm not just doing something because I've just been doing it. I want to be very strategic in my time, my energy, and resources. And for me, my, what am I doing at the end of this conference is I am creating a strategy based on the information that I am learning. I'm giving myself a deadline to be, have a crystal clear strategy on how I am going to shift my podcast. Stay tuned because the A to Ask This podcast is going to be pivoting. Likely, still going to be in these real estate streets, still going to be giving you amazing content because all of us can be real estate investors if we want. It's just a matter of having the right information, inspiration, and the connection. Okay, so number three. Now, this one's really practical because this is actually while you're here at the conference. One of my favorite things to do is when I meet someone, take a selfie with them. Here's why this is so important. I take a selfie because two things. I love y'all. I love all the people that I meet, but y'all know the introverted me gets exhausted. And so at the end of the day, after a long conference, I can't remember all the people that I talked to. Who was what? Who was the girl with the real cute hair? Oh, she had that real cute badge. Or the guy, he said the bomb things and I can't remember which one was which. So I take pictures with people and I text them the picture because I can remember who they are, but also they can remember me because just as many people as I'm talking to, they're talking and meeting to a lot of amazing people as well. And so I want to make this as easy as possible. So when I meet someone, we have a great conversation and we want to connect and follow up after the conference. Let's be right quick. Then I take a selfie and I text it to them so that I have their information and they have mine and they have a picture of who I am. Because I mean, would you forget me? So those are three tips for a successful conference experience. You want to know what is your goal? for getting out of it. What are you gonna do once you finish? And take a selfie with the people that you meet so you can remember who you's out there. I can't wait to bring you more gems of all the things that I'm learning at Podcast Summit. Hey, hey. If you are in the market to sell your home and you know that you want to get top dollar for your property, Give me a call today. My name is Tiffany Watson, and I am your local area expert. Born and raised here in Danville, North Carolina, I am up to date on all of the market trends. And as an investor myself, I can also make sure that we maximize all the profit that you're able to get. Whether you're trying to figure out what repairs you need to make, how do you best market and present your property, me and my team will take care of all of that for you. So all you have to worry about is what day is gonna be closing. Click the link in my bio if you are ready to sell your home and we can schedule a consultation call where I'll walk you through my five-step ease method to make sure that you are getting the most for your property. Can't wait to work with you. Three things I learned from Podcast Summit. First things first, y'all know, even though this conference is for podcasters, there are so many jewels and nuggets that people can take away. So y'all know I am a real estate investor and an agent, and I love to talk to you about all things real estate. And I'm going to show you how this all ties in. The three nuggets that I'm about to tell you, they're applicable to everyone. Once I finish, y'all get in the comments and let me know which one resonates with you the most. So the first one was from a session where we were talking about how to monetize your podcast. And one of the speakers talks about how income is the amount of money you make, while wealth is what you do with the income that you are making. And there is a distinct difference. Many of you, you know, you heard my story. I never wanted to be an entrepreneur. However, one of the things that I realized was that no matter how much money I make, if I didn't know how to keep, and more importantly, what to do with it, it was just an ongoing hamster wheel. And so working at one of the biggest companies literally in the world and seeing people making more money than I had ever even imagined, but were still broke, was real stressful to me and real confusing because I realized it's not about how much money you make, but the activity and the habits that you have related to your money. Even though we have a lot of income goals, I have my own income goals, of course, I want to make sure that it's not about the income, but I am building wealth. I don't want to just have a high salary. I want to have a high net worth. So income is the amount of money that you make. Wealth is what you do with that income. Cool. Number two. 
So my guy, Marcus, let me tell you, Marcus came through and he put a whole sermon out there for us. We went to church. And so what, the first thing before he even got on a stage in his intro that Marcus said was, you cannot build a business bigger than you. And this is so incredible. It reminds me a lot of John Maxwell, who teaches a lot of leadership. And he talks about the leadership lid. Everything rises and falls on your level of leadership. You are in charge of your life. You are in charge of your business. I like to tell myself regularly that I am the CEO and president of Me, Inc. I am in charge of this dynasty. And so the bigger that I grow, the more that I invest in myself, the bigger that my business is going to be able to grow. Because the worst thing that we can do is build big old businesses and not have the shoulders to be able to carry the weight of them. So that was huge. And then because Marcus was just really on a roll, we gonna double, double back and give another quotable from him. And so he said that the future you will have or what you, the future you will live in or what you will have will be based on the investment that you make today. Let me say that one more time because I butchered it a little bit because I'm also reading my notes. But listen, the future you live in or what you will have in the future will be based on the investments you make today. So as you can see, we talked a lot about investing today. And so this isn't just talking about money, though money is important because we need to invest our money for our future. But in this particular instance, Marcus was talking about how oftentimes we're making decisions based on our past selves, based on our past income streams, based on our past situation. And so oftentimes in the present, we're still paying for the past. Me right now, show of hands if you got credit card debt. And it don't matter if it's $2 or if it's $2,000 or if it's $20,000, we are still paying for something that we did or we bought in the past instead of spending our money in the future. I'm gonna throw a little bonus one because let me tell you, Marcus was on a roll. He said so often that we are spending our money backwards. We're throwing our money up, but we really need to be investing our money forward. What does all this mean, Tiffany? We need to be investors investing in our future, whether it is the time that we are spending, making sure that what we're doing today, our future self is going to be thankful for. If it's the money that we're spending today, is this money going to be something that I am going to be glad that I spent on today? Or is it going to be like my credit card bills? And I'm like, girl, did you really need that? And yet you're still paying for it. Put it off and quit playing because that's money that I could be using right now for my future, but I'm still paying for my past. So as y'all can tell, there was so much that I took away from a podcast summit, but these are just three quick things. I hope that you enjoy this. So in the comments, tell me which one of these resonated with you. Is there anything that is giving you something to think about, something to pause? I want to hear from you. As always, you know, I'm your girl, Aid to Assets. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, call me. I got you. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to another insightful episode of Aid to Assets. Remember, your journey from nine to fiver to successful real estate investor is within reach. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep investing in your future. If you'd like to know more, connect with me on Instagram at Aid to Assets. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. Until next time, happy investing.